Welcome to the Summary versus Analysis Workshop, brought to you by the Writing Center at Brightpoint. So what is summary and analysis? Well, summary and analysis are ways that you would examine a piece of writing. Summary and analysis, they complement each other, but it is important to distinguish between them so that the reader understands the subject and also knows your particular thoughts on the matter as the writer. So what is summary? So when you look at summary, summary is going to tell you what the text is about. It's going to outline the main elements, who, what, when, where, why, and how, right? So you think of summary is a brief recap of the main events and the key points. So when you're summarizing something, you want to make sure that your summary is long enough so that whoever is reading it understands what the main idea and the main points of it was, but you still want to be brief. Uh, a lot of times when you're writing summaries, you'll include the attributive tags, like according to Brothers Grimm, right? Because you're summarizing someone else's work. But one thing to remember is that summary is not an opinion. Summary is very, very objective. You remain neutral. You're only stating the author's original points. Let's look at, at an example. So let's take the fairy tale, The Little Red Riding Hood. And if you go through the who, what, when, where, why, and how scenario, you can come up with a summary. Who, Little Red Riding Hood. What, a visit to the grandmother's house went horribly wrong. Where? She was in the woods. When? Well, once upon a time. Why? Why did it go horribly wrong? Well, because the big bad wolf tricked her. And how? Because the wolf disguised himself as her grandmother. But when you look at analysis, analysis is going to feature original thoughts from you. This is where you look at the text and then now you are analyzing the text. Analysis is going to go deeper, right? Um, the analysis is going to examine why the themes or patterns in the text are important or they are relevant. Okay, so let's look at analysis. Some tips here. When you analyze something, Analyze should be detailed and longer than a summary. Remember, a summary is just a, a, a quick recap of the main points. A summary is more in depth. It's looking uh, for deeper meaning and why these things. So it's gonna be a little bit longer. Analysis is might describe something. It compares and it looks for meaning, right? Uh, sometimes within the historical context. Um, it's always going to examine the deeper meaning of the author's purpose, the theme, any figurative language, any patterns, the pros and cons, or you might even have a cause and effect relationship that you examine. So let's look at analysis from our Little Red Riding Hood example. So a summary of Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red was told by her mother to go straight away to grandma's house and not stop or talk to anyone. However, Little Red stopped to pick flowers, play with nature, and talk to a wolf when he asked questions. So now if we're analyzing this, we would say, um, Red Riding Hood's action implied that giving in to temptation and straying from authority has severe consequences. Because she didn't follow what her, grand, what her mother told her to do, right, by stopping to pick flowers, play, and talk to the wolf, then later there were consequences, right, when she got to her grandmother's house. So that's one way of looking into deeper meaning. Then you also can look at a historical context of medieval Germany, okay? Here, the story may imply that defiance of moral codes leads to punishment, not just for the sinner, who was Little Red Riding Hood, right, where she's eaten by the wolf, but also for those surrounding them, right? Like Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother was also devoured. 
So sometimes you might be tempted to summarize your work rather than analyzing it. Or while you're working, you might not realize it's like, am I summarizing or am I analyzing? One way is to ask yourself some of these questions, right? What is my point? If you're analyzing a text, what is the point that you're trying to make? When you're looking at a little bit of writing hood, for example, what is the point, right? The point is that there's consequences. What meaning have I attached to the author's work? In this instance, we've attached meaning that there's a moral to the story, right? Why did I attach meaning to that theme, that event, or that idea? As you looked at the story and you saw the series of events, or if you were looking at a piece of text and you read what the author wrote, you begin to see, right, patterns, right? You begin to see themes, and those themes had deeper meanings. And then how can I prove that the point I'm making or the meaning that I have attributed to it is valid. This is very important in analysis because this is where if you make an analysis, then you would give an example from the text that you're analyzing, right, to prove it, that that's the point that you're trying to make. That's how you would analyze. If you still have questions about summary and analysis, we're here to help. You can check out our live guides at the Bright Point Writing Center website. Thank you for attending this workshop.